Hello friends and family, this is Michael Gass, PDS Equipment. This is the first in a series on protecting your printhead on a UV printer. This video is specific to our large format, or 4x8, 8x7, 8x10, or JFX 200 series, or JFX 500 series. So if you have a small format printer, come back and check with us later. There will be more videos in this series. So the first thing we're going to talk about today is checking the crash guard on a JFX 200. Why do you need to check your crash guard? It's very simple because if someone ever leans on that printhead and it's right there at that four foot height where people just tend to come up and lean on something or if it's ever been bumped over and over again, it can need to be reset. So this is something you want to do on a regular basis. Only takes a few minutes. So let's show you how to set the crash guard on a JFX 200 slash 500 series printer. So here we are at the control panel of our JFX 200EX. And again, the same setup if you're on a 200, 200EX, or a 500. So let's talk about what tools we need. The first thing we need is a one millimeter feeler gauge. The second thing we need is a black Mamaki screwdriver. You should have gotten one of these with your machine. If you did not, it's probably because Trevor installed your machine and he borrowed it. Uh, but if you don't have a Mamaki black screwdriver, any Phillips screwdriver will do. The third thing you need is patience. It does take just a minute to do, but uh, if you follow these directions, it's not too bad. So let's get started. Here we are at the control panel. The first thing we're going to do is hit function. Then we are going to scroll down to head height, which is the default. We're going to hit enter. We're going to scroll down one to thickness check. We're going to hit enter. And it is going to check our media thickness. Now, why are we doing this? The reason we're doing this is because we do want to verify that the machine plunger is calibrated correctly before we start. So what's going to happen is the print head is going to come out. And wherever the red dot is, that's where we're going to check our thickness. I'm going to come over just a little bit and come down a little bit just to kind of get into the print area. And then I'm going to hit enter. And the plunger is going to come down and it's going to read my media thickness. Now, we're on a bare bed. It should read zero. If for some reason your media thickness does not read zero, give us a call and uh, we'll talk to you what to do about that over the phone. So now the media thickness should be saying zero. Thickness check checking any second now and indeed it does say zero. So we hit the enter key and now our media thickness is registered at zero. If your media thickness is not registered at zero, this uh, next step will not work and your crash guards will not be calibrated correctly. So the next step is to simply hit the end until you're back at local. We want to be back in our local mode, which we are ink near end. Ignore that message. I'll, I'll get my people on that later. That would probably be me. I am my people. But uh, So now we want to bring the crash guards out over the deck. Now... So what we've got going on here is these are our crash guards. The crash guard is set one half millimeter below the print head, one millimeter above your media. And what happens is if people lean on this, it gets bumped repeatedly, it can get out of calibration. So we're going to verify and calibrate these crash guards. So we're going to adjust our crash guard we have a Phillips head screwdriver we have one two Phillips head screws when we loosen these the crash guard will slide up and down so I'm just gonna slightly loosen these not all the way notice how I put pressure from the back this guy will flop we don't want it flopping we want it fully out so I'm going to loosen these just a little bit take my one millimeter if you can see that that's a one millimeter filler gauge I'm gonna slide it under the end and what I want to do is I want to slide this up and down till I just contact this guy. And then I want to be able to slide it in where I just barely 
barely touch. And I know it's hard to tell from the video, but right there, I'm getting contact and a little bit of resistance, but not too much. See, there's that's too low. And I like that, so I'm going to tighten this one down. See how it moved when I tightened it? You got to watch that. You have to wrestle with it a little bit. So that's too high. I like that. So what you see is that's just barely kissing it when it goes under. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Again, I am pulling towards me on the crash guard as I do this to set it in its natural resting place. A lot of times what people will do is they will set this crash guard when it's down and then when it comes up it's actually too high because if you set it with it pushed down when it comes up to its natural resting place it does rise and it will be too high at that point. So make sure you've got the crash guard fully extended when you're testing it and as you can see that's too low. So we're going to loosen this Bring it up just a little bit, get that guy under there, get it set. I like that. So now I'm going to pull out a one millimeter just to verify that this guy is correct. So now I've got my one and my point one. And I try to go under it, and it goes under there, but it doesn't go under there. So that tells me this one is still a little too high. So I'm going to come over here. Bring that down just a hair. My crash guard is set. We're going to repeat for the other side when we're done. Make sure our screws are tightened. And that is how you set a crash guard on a JFX 200 series EX or standard and a JFX 500. I suggest you check this about once a month. It just takes a few minutes. Check it once a month or if you have had any kind of hard contact with your crash guards or if you're just worried about it. Because what happens is that crash guard is one half millimeter below your print head. So what should happen is when you have a strike, the crash guard cl clicks in, kills the machine, protects your print head. Now in the real world, if your media is wavy, the crash guard can ride over it and strike your head. But, uh, but this will do a good job in protecting your print head if you keep it set correctly. Thank you. Once the crash guards are set, you simply hit enter. The head goes back home and we are now ready to print. Our crash guards are set correctly. So there's our first video in our series on protecting your UV print head. There will be more to follow. So come back out and check those out later. And again, please check out our YouTube channel and we'd love for you to follow us. Thank you very much. And as always, we appreciate all the PDS customers.